I've made a lot of videos on this channel and I've discussed the many, many reasons why we need to stay the hell away from dogs, why we need to make it illegal to own them as pets, why we need to ban them from our communities and make it against the law to breed them, and why we need to cull strays intensively. One of those many reasons is that dogs spread diseases to humans. Uh, and I've talked about a number of those diseases, but there's one disease that I didn't know about until today, and I thought I would share this with you. This article was published today on the I Fucking Love Science website, and the title is Dog Parasite Causing Cancer-Like Growths in Humans is on the Rise in North America. So there's a rare parasite that causes cancer-like growths in people's livers, and it has started to become increasingly common in North America over the past decade, especially in certain portions of Canada. As reported in the American Journal of Tropical Medicine and Hygiene, a team from the University of Alberta argue that the Alberta province of Western Canada has become somewhat of a North American hotspot for the rare infection known as human alveolar echinococcosis, or AE. Before 2013, just two human cases of the parasitic infection had been confirmed in the whole of North America. In the new study, however, the researcher identified 17 cases in Alberta, between 2013 and 2020. The researchers believe the strain of AE was likely brought to Canada by dogs from Europe, where the disease is rare, but well established before being spread to urbanized coyotes and humans. Yeah, we are importing dogs from Europe because in case you didn't know, there is a massive dog shortage in North America. Yeah, we are running out of dogs. We don't have enough dogs. Our shelters are completely empty. Uh, we, we, yeah, we just don't have any dogs. So we have to import them from Europe. I'm being sarcastic, by the way. Our shelters are bursting at the seams with unwanted dogs. But for some reason, dog worshippers think it's a good idea to bring in more dogs. So that's what they've done. And now there's this new disease going around. In coyotes in Calgary and in Edmonton, more than half, more than half have been found to be carrying this parasite. So the new strain seems to not only be more virulent when it affects humans, but it seems to be super effective in wild hosts. In its typical life cycle, the tapeworm-like parasite called Echinococcus multilocularis lives harmlessly in the small intestines of canines, typically foxes and coyotes, but also pet dogs. When the parasite's eggs are pooped out and eaten by rodents, the disease takes a different form and results in cyst-like tumors in the liver, which eventually kills the animal. If humans ingest the parasite's eggs, they too can suffer from this nasty fate. Let me just add here, that even if people pick up their dog's shit, and as we know from previous videos I've made, check out my video called The Dog Waste Problem. Almost half of dog owners do not pick up after their pets. 60% of dog owners pick up after their pets according to surveys. Well, that's according to surveys. How do we know they were telling the truth on those surveys? But anyway... Even if they do pick it up, even if it was 100% of people picking up after their pets, there are always traces left behind. You can't pick up diarrhea. Even if the shit is nice and solid, there are going to be traces left behind. No matter what you do, there will be traces left behind which contain these parasitic eggs. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, humans with the infection can also get tumors in the liver and lungs, and less frequently in the bones, kidneys, spleen, muscles, and central nervous system. 
However, the disease is relatively difficult to spot in humans, as it can easily resemble other diseases, most notably cancer. Symptoms are also fairly vague, such as unspecified pain, jaundice, weakness, and weight loss. How many people have this and don't realize it? That's what I'd like to know. How many people have this and haven't been diagnosed? The parasite can kill a human host within 10 to 15 years if left untreated. If the infection is caught early, then surgery to remove the liver mass is possible, although two-thirds of patients will become inoperable as they didn't receive a diagnosis promptly enough. For these patients, a lifelong treatment of antiparasitic drugs can help stop the mass from growing, but the parasite will survive. Isn't that lovely? Of the 17 cases documented in the study, 11 patients lived in rural areas, 14 of them had pet dogs, and 6 had a weakened immune system. In nearly half of the cases, the patients were only diagnosed with a parasitic infection while being tested for a different illness. So like I said earlier, how many people have this and don't know it? Note how only three of the cases documented in the study did not own a pet dog. 14 out of the 17 did own pet dogs. Keep that in mind. So when people were studying the images of these people's inner organs. They thought they were seeing cancer at first. They say the symptoms would be indistinguishable from many other diseases in the liver, hence the need for a biopsy diagnosis. So they actually have to go in and take out a piece of the liver before they can diagnose it. To prevent this grim infection, people are being advised to practice some simple hygiene precautions such as thoroughly washing any fruit and vegetables that have been on the ground. If you own pets, be sure to wash your hands as much as you can after touching them, especially if they've come into contact with a rodent or an area where coyotes hang out. How about this? How about you don't buy a dog? You don't own a dog? You don't pet a dog? You avoid all contact with dogs. Why is this simple suggestion never mentioned in any of these articles? Why is this great piece of advice never given to us? I'll tell you why. It's because it's not even an option to these dog worshippers. They can't imagine their lives without dogs. I can't imagine why you would want to have a creature in your home that is so dirty that you need to wash your hands as much as you can after touching them. Why would you want something like this in your house? Wash your hands as much as you can after touching them, especially if they've come into contact with a rodent or an area where coyotes hang out. How about if they've come into contact with another dog? Or an area where other dogs hang out? What am I missing here? It is a dog parasite that is causing cancer-like growths in humans. It is a parasite that is present in dog poop. Why are we not being told to avoid dog poop and traces of dog poop? And there are traces of dog poop all over dogs because they lick their anuses and then they lick all over their bodies and they spread these traces all over themselves and all over everything they come into contact with, including your shopping cart. If you shop at a grocery store that allows dogs into it. They are spreading these traces onto library floors where children crawl around, onto parks where children play, onto sports fields where children play sports, onto 
every surface you can imagine because they are everywhere onto airplane seats, taxi seats, in Uber cars, in hospitals in assisted living facilities, in schools. They're dragging their anuses. They're pressing their anuses down everywhere. Cafes, bars, restaurants, you name it, elevators. There are no dog-free areas anymore. Dogs are shitting everywhere. Everywhere you can imagine. In malls, in stores. They are rubbing their contaminated fur and anuses everywhere. You can't avoid it. You can't avoid areas where dogs are because there are no dog-free areas. Dogs are everywhere. So they can't give that advice, but they should be giving that advice. We should be able to avoid dogs. We can't, but we should be able to. Anybody in their right mind would want to avoid contact with these filthy creatures, avoid contact with any area that is contaminated by these filthy creatures, but we can't. Because somehow, people can't imagine their lives without dogs. They can't imagine their communities without dogs. I can, and I envision communities that are so much quieter and healthier and cleaner and happier. Is there not enough disease in the world? Is there not enough pain and suffering with all these people dying from cancer, COVID-19, heart disease. Are there not enough sicknesses that we need to import more sickness? We need to import more disease because we don't have enough disease? You know, you want to avoid a disease that is spread by dogs? Get rid of dogs. But no, they can't imagine that because they think of dogs as being essential. Like, you know, they'll say things like, well, humans spread disease too, you know. Yeah, but we need humans. What do you want to do? You want to ban humans? How are you going to eat? How are you going to live? You can't survive without humans because you are a social animal. We need other humans to survive. Not only could we survive without dogs, we would be better off without them. And if you watch my videos, you will understand the many reasons why we would be better off without them. But people don't watch my videos. This whole thing's doing my head in. We need more voices, guys. We need more people speaking up. Other people need to, you know, talk about how ridiculous this is that we put up with this when we don't have to. You know... Other people need to point out how crazy it is that articles like this one are not stating the obvious. They are not giving us the best piece of advice that they can give, which is to get dogs the hell out of our communities. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I really hope that some of you will consider sharing my videos, uh, because if we want change, we need to raise awareness, and awareness will not be raised until more of us speak out. So please find the courage within yourself. I understand the fear of being shunned and rejected and laughed at and the attacks, but I feel better about myself knowing that I speak the truth, I share facts, and I am a voice for the voiceless. I am protecting or trying to protect wildlife and babies and the and and the forests and the environment the waters the i know that i'm doing good by raising awareness and i love myself for it so maybe think about that if you find yourself you know unsure about sharing my videos or sharing the message not necessarily my videos maybe you think my videos suck but share the message you know People will not think differently until they are exposed to new and different ways of thinking. Change will never happen unless we become more vocal. So, I leave you with that and wish you all well. The future is dog-free.